All right, the numbers vary each year, but car seats reduce the risk of death by more than 70% for infants and by more than five, five, much more for children ages one to four. But sadly, many people just do not use our car seats or booster seats properly. We're in the middle of a National Child Passenger Safety Week. And joining us this morning, Lisa Dow. She's the Injury Prevention Coordinator from Capilani Medical Center for Women and Children. Here to talk about child car seat safety and proper installations. Good morning to you, Lisa. Good morning, thank you. Why is it so important to have an expert look over what right. we're doing? Well, just that what you said before, yeah. that nine out of 10 car seats are not installed correctly. So we want to make sure that our babies on the road and our children on the road are safe. Uh -huh. um, car, car crashes are not the number one, but one of the top injuries that cause injuries and, and fatalities for children. Now what are some of the, and we have some props here, right. but what are some of the more common misuses, if you will? Car seats and booster seats. So probably the one of the biggest misuse is putting the child from one, one seat to another too quickly. When do you do it? So for the infant here, turning the child from rear facing to forward facing too soon. We like to keep the babies um, at least till the age of two years of age in a rear facing seat, but really go above that to what the car seat manufacturer recommends and to usually like 40 pounds. And uh, for our older children, they're getting out of their booster seats too soon. By law, they can get out of a booster seat at eight, but what we find is most eight-year-olds, nine, and even 10-year-olds really should be in a booster seat. So it's not so much the age or is it the weight? Because every child is different. It's the size, it's of, the the size child, of the child, the development of the child, and the way they fit in a particular car seat. You know, car seats are so varied. You know, when you look at some of the car seats that we put in there, and, and we're all guilty of it, right. nine out of ten of us, and right. we don't do it obviously on purpose. No, not at all. We love right. our children. Loose car seats, there's right. certain different things that you see, and you go, oh, guys, this is a red flag. So usually the biggest installation error would be not too tight. So the car seat needs to be at least, needs to be tight to not move more than an inch from front, side to side and front to back. Um, another common misuse is not buckling up the child properly, making sure it's nice and snug, no slack in the harness. Okay. And where in the harness, because where, where it lands is also very important, right? Well, for this one, you know, you, you need your harness clip, the chest clip at the, across the armpits. For rear facing, the harness should be at or below the shoulder. For forward facing, it should be at or above. For the booster seat, we need to make sure that the, the shoulder strap is between the shoulders, across the chest, mm -hmm. and low on the hips. Okay, if you want more information on this, I have an opportunity on Saturday. I want to put some information on the screen for you. It's an opportunity to check your seat and have an expert do right. so. Uh, the hours are from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's over at YPO Shopping right. Center, and uh, all the experts will be there to help. Right, and we'd like to you know, really thank our, our sponsors, which was Dietrich Insurance, Kapiolani Medical Center, uh, KK Injury Prevention Coalition, and, of course, the YPO Shopping Center for having our event there. Okay, and the, and the key there is saving lives. Right. Because we know we love our children, right. but exactly. we need some help. Thank you. Good to see you. Lisa. Thank you. Good to see you again. All right, when we come back, we're going to check on your surf and your weather forecast. But first, we'd like to wish a few island cakes.